Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the process to live stream an IP camera to YouTube using FFmpeg. And I'll put a link in the description to that video. In this video, I'm going to be live streaming an IP camera to Facebook using FFmpeg. So I'll put a couple different links in the description. I'll put one to my FFmpeg playlist. I'll have one to my Amcrest playlist, and I'll be using an Amcrest camera for this tutorial. But it should also work with other cameras. And I'll put a link to the instructions I'm using on the screen right now. I'll have them formatted a little bit better by the time I post them. So YouTube had a recommended settings page and Facebook has a similar page. I'll link to that on my site. So I have that link up here. I'll scroll down a little bit. And we have the video format they recommend. The expected resolution is 720p. For keyframe, they want a keyframe every two seconds. The recommended max bit rate is 4,000 to 6,000 kilobits per second. They want H.264 encoding. And the length is eight hour maximum. Audio, we have 48 kilohertz. Channel can be stereo or mono. Codec is AAC, and bitrate is 256. And down here at the bottom, we have advanced settings. It says pixel aspect ratio is square, frame types is progressive scan, and bitrate encoding is CBR, or constant bitrate. So next on this page, I have the live stream URL. So you go to this facebook.com slash live slash create. So when you get to this page, you want to hit create live stream. I'll click on that. Okay, so we have a couple different methods here. We have use stream key, use camera, or use paired encoder. So I'll be using the stream key. But before I get started, I want to set my stream up. So if I scroll down here, I have two methods here, and I'll show you both. The first one is where I'm taking the image from the camera, and I'm scaling it down to fit 720p, and then streaming it out. The second one is where I actually change the settings in the IP camera to be 720p and stream it that way. So the second version is a lot more efficient than the first way. You could probably run this second technique on pretty much any hardware, since it's not encoding anything. So I'm going to copy this into my text editor, so I can modify it. So my input stream is right here. It says RTSP, I have username and password. So I'll type in for my camera and I have set up temporary passwords for this since I'm displaying them to you right now. Okay, so I have my stream set up. I'll just copy that stream. I'll go to my terminal and I'll type FF play space and I'll paste that in. And this should display the screen or the video on my screen. So here we are, we see the camera. This is my sky cam. I'll hit Q to exit that. So I would recommend testing out your IP camera before you stream it, because if you have trouble streaming it, you want to know if it was your camera or the stream uh, itself. And next we have force keyframes. And I looked this up in the documentation. If you use this expression here, it does a keyframe every two seconds, and that's denoted by this two here. So if you wanted one every one second, you would change that to one. If you wanted five, you would change it to five. And Facebook recommends two, so I set it at that. Next we have the video filter, and we have crop. And since we're streaming at 720p, we want a 16 by nine ratio. So what crop does is this crops it to 16 by nine, if it's not already at 16 by nine. So if your camera captures in a 4-3 ratio, for instance, this will crop it down. Then after that, we have scale to 1080 by 720, so 720p. And we have reorder queue size. That's just a setting I looked up when I was having a problem. Some of these I understand more than others, some of these settings. And then we have max delay is 1 million, or that's 10 million, yeah. And the video codec is libx264, so it's h.264. I'll come back to that in a second. We have our bit rate at 4,500K. Pixel format is YUV 420p and the format is FLV, and then we put our Facebook URL here. So one thing I skipped over here at the front is we have this A null SRC. So what this does, this sets up a blank audio source because I'm streaming this with no audio. Facebook seemed to have a problem if I streamed with no audio and didn't send audio with it. So this gives it audio, but it just makes it blank. So for the video codec here, I put a note down here on this page. I say to use the hardware encoding on a Mac, you can change this libx264 to h264 underscore video toolbox. So I'll do that. And I also have one for Windows using the Intel processor. There are hardware encoders for NVIDIA too. You can look those up. So I'll paste that in. Next, I need this Facebook URL. So I'll go to my live page. I'll scroll down here. And we have the server URL. So I'll copy that. I'll replace Facebook URL with that. There we go. I'll go back into that page. And then we have the stream key. So I'll hit that to copy it. And I'll add that on the end of the URL we just added. So this command should stream for us. So I'll copy this whole thing. I'll go to my terminal, clear my screen here. I'll paste this in. I'll hit enter. Okay, so now it's streaming. We can see the speed is 1.16x. So if we go here, we can see the stream right here. 
I can scroll. Well, it's kind of cutting off a little bit. There we go. So you can see the timer is working here. The clouds are moving too slow to tell that this is live video. You can see that the timestamp is moving up here in the upper right. So I'll pause this and I'll shrink it again. I'll go back to this and I can hit Q to stop that. I'll go back to my website. And I have this other, it says streams to Facebook IP address skills video. So I'll copy this over. I'll go to my text editor again. And I'll go to the IP address of my IP camera. Okay, I'll go into the settings here and video. And here you see it says 2688 by 1520. I'll go to that and I'll change it to 720p. And then the bit rate is 4096. I could adjust this a little bit, that looks good enough to me. So now the bit rate is compatible with what Facebook wants. And then I'll change the frame rate to 30 frames per second. I'll save this out. Now if I pull the stream up, we should have a 720p video image. So I'll type FF play. So now this is at 720p directly from the camera. And you'll see here we have H.264, 720p, 30 frames per second. So going back down here, I'll update the second line with our stream URL. I'll also put my Facebook URL in there. So the difference between these two is you see here we have a video filter here that is cropping it and scaling it to 720p. Down below here, we don't have a video filter. Up here we have the video codec, which is the hardware encoding on the Mac. Down here we just say V codec copy. So my computer is not actually encoding anything here. It's just copying the stream from one stream to another. So this is a lot more efficient. So I'll copy this URL here. I'll paste that into my terminal. I'll hit clear, paste it in, I'll hit enter. Okay, we're streaming. If I go back to that web page, if I can find it, I have too many web pages open. Here we go. And there we can see it's streaming. So you can see the timestamp is moving. So I think changing the camera is a good idea if you're allowed to do that, if you can easily do it because then you have to do less processing. You're letting the camera send you the 720p as opposed to changing it on your computer. And I made this video with just the scope of sharing an IP camera. You could use this to do other things. I just didn't want to have this be a broad streaming one because I know there's people that want to just stream a camera. So if you are a manager at a resort somewhere, you could have a camera on the pool so people could check uh, if the pool's busy or if their kids are down there. You could have uh, you know, a camera on the beach so you could check out the beach conditions. You could be, have a wildlife reserve or a zoo. You could have a camera at a, maybe a bird feeder, things like that. And once you have this up and running in this Facebook Live area, then you can go up here and you can add a post in. You can change if it's public, private, and you can hit go live now, and it will go live to all of your followers. So, and that's pretty easy. You just make sure you have the settings here and you hit go live. Now, I don't have a public Facebook page to post this to, and I could post it in my private feed, but I keep those things kind of separate. So I'm going to leave it at this, but just so you know, this is super easy to do at this point. You just hit go live and it's up and going. Now, when you're testing this, get it up here running in the Facebook Live Viewer. And if you have the time, leave it there for 20, 30 minutes on a day that you're not streaming. So you can practice ahead of time, just in case you have to make some changes to the parameters. Then once you have those in place, I'll hit Q to close this. I'll go back up. Then make sure you copy this command here for your notes. And then next time you want to stream it, you just have to go in and update the Facebook stream key. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.